It has now been more than a week since Lieutenant DeMonte and Sergeant Alex Hamsey were ambushed and killed in the line of duty. And as we said, their joint funeral is coming up tomorrow morning at Rentschler Field in East Hartford. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live right now with more before tomorrow's funeral. Aya? Mark and Aaron, cones and barriers have already started going up here at Rentschler Field in East Hartford as very loud, large crowds are expected tomorrow. Tens of thousands of law enforcement personnel will be arriving from all over the country to pay their respects. And if members of the public do plan on attending tomorrow's funeral services, the best thing you could do is arrive early. On Friday, October 21st, two heroes will be laid to rest. Lieutenant Dustin DeMonte and Sergeant Alex Hamsey were both killed in the line of duty last week while responding to a call. The tragic news difficult to comprehend as the law enforcement community prepares for the final farewell. Just extreme sorrow and sadness and you know I just feel for the Bristol Police Department, the officers, family members and our hearts go out to all of them. Members of the Bristol Police Department have been working alongside Connecticut State Police to plan a special funeral that will honor the service and sacrifice of Lieutenant DeMonte and Sergeant Hamsey. So we're helping them planning and the logistics when it comes to the, the funeral. The funeral starts at Rentschler Field in East Hartford at 11 a.m., but members of the public wanting to attend should arrive by 9.30 a.m. The best right. advice is to, to arrive early. Give yourself enough time to expect to be stuck in traffic, expect there to be delays. At least 10 to 15,000 members of the law enforcement community are expected to pay their respects from across the U.S. and Canada. But we want the public to know that there's going to be a procession. Lots of law enforcement agencies have come to Connecticut in order to be part of that procession. And police departments throughout Connecticut are providing mutual aid to the Bristol Police Department so that officers can attend the funeral services. Whether it's taking calls for service, uh, we've had dispatchers go and actually field calls in the dispatch office in Bristol. So however we can assist Bristol in their time of need, we're happy to do it. And Officer Mark Caruso with East Hartford Police says the outpouring of community support is so important right now. Whenever the community is able to show support for what we do or we're able to show support in, in our way, it's, it's greatly appreciated. And once the venue is filled, nobody else will be allowed in. Rentschler Field has a capacity for 40,000 people inside of the stadium. Members of the public can start arriving as early as 6 a.m. Keep in mind, no bags, purses, cameras, or flowers will be allowed inside of the stadium. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 p.m., we're going to have much more on how the officers are being remembered. Reporting live in East Hartford, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right, AM.